Previously on Sailing Zutara. We spent an amazing month exploring beautiful Fiji, free diving and scuba diving and sailing from island to island. We also had to say goodbye to some dear friends and fellow cruisers. So I'm trying to decide whether we need to go to New Zealand, Australia. So many of our fans are waiting for us in New Zealand. I'm nervous about that passage from Fiji to New Zealand. Yeah, but if we don't take our boat to Australia, we're not going to sell it this season, probably. No. We probably won't get a new boat if we if we uh, don't go to Australia. If we go to New Zealand, we'll have this boat for another year. Yeah. Oh, decisions, decisions. As many of you already know, after weeks of family discussion and debate, we decided to take Zatara straight to Australia, skipping New Zealand, and put her up for sale in Australia. Our hopes are to purchase a catamaran immediately after, continuing our sailing journey and of course our videos. However, this episode will begin our last passage in our beloved home for the past year, the monohull we call Zatara. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They told us off the line, but I just let it flow away Disgusting. So we're getting ready for our 10-day passage to Australia. So I've done a whole lot of extra prep than uh, we usually do for a passage. I'm making pancake mix. Got all kinds of noodles and bread. It's gonna be in the freezer, so all we gotta do is microwave stuff and uh, eat it on passage.
night shift of our 10 day passage to Australia. And uh, it's get, been kind of tough just because the wind has been pretty strong, about 20, 25 knots. So we've been healing a bunch. It's calmed down a lot tonight, so it's a, a whole lot better. Everybody's asleep right now. And um, my shift is about a little after 11, so my shift is about three quarters of the way done. And I'll come on shift after this. And we have a full moon, which is nice. It helps to be able to see out here. We're making about seven knots, which is really good. And so we should make it to Australia in, I think, uh, Keith said about seven days at this speed instead of 10. So that'd be great. day two so we won't have our sea legs till tomorrow or the next day everybody's down negative attitudes because it's been tough the first couple of days especially in big seas and beam seas rolling 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 we'll get less wind uh, less wind at seas in the next three days by sunday today is friday friday i have no idea it's Friday, so we got 1,500 miles left, and we'll be there. We're, right. going, we we're going to Coffs Harbor, but I think we're going to go to Newcastle now, unless the winds or something changes. They probably can't hear anything he's saying because of all the wind, but just read his lips. Read my lips. No new taxes. I did not have sexual relations <laughs> with that one. I did not have sexual relations. No, he sound like Forrest Gump. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with that girl. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. So this is my watch while Keith is over there eating a snack. He's like always on the watch. Kate's just resting. And I am uh, keeping my eyes out for anything that may come into our path like a whale or a shipping container or uh, whatever. Something exciting. Can't wait to get a catamaran so I can sit way up high on deck and have a good bird's eye view of everything. That'll be nice. The second day of a passage is usually the toughest day. And when it's rainy and windy, it doesn't make things better, but it does make for a great adventure. calm down quite a bit. We're actually able to do some school today. 
doing some math without your paper sliding off the table. So what are you doing? Eating what? Pasta. So is mother, and so is sister. Life tends to slow down a lot on a passage. I won't use the word boring because that has such a negative connotation to it. And it's the reason we came out here to slow down, to clear our minds, and to stop the circle of the rat race in our lives and in our heads. So we're trying to get our water maker going while we're on passage. It's always been a problem because I need a, a pre-charge pump to charge the water maker because the water doesn't come in consistently because the boat going up and down it causes a vacuum and a push and the water maker needs solid pressure so I need to install a pre-charge pump on this water maker so that when we're in a passage I have a little electric pump that will charge it up and keep it from cavitating and and uh, we can get it done but it just it's very the, where the water intake is it can fluctuate a bunch Need like a water scoop. Yeah. to get it right on the edge of the red and green. Yeah, you see how it goes down? It's because it's cavity is sucking air, air yeah. bubbles underneath the boat. This is making five gallons an hour. Ten. Oh, the top of the thing? Yeah. Don't you want it way up here? The other day it was way up here. Yeah. Your words out right now, as long as it'll stay going. Yeah. We have a, a special cat. guest. I don't know what do you call somebody gets on a boat or a stowaway? Boat. A stowaway, a hitchhiker. We pick him up. His name is Fred. Fred. Fred's an old bird. Aww. Show us, your, show us your face, Fred. Jack. Uh, oh, there he is. Hello, Fred. Is he sleeping? Unfortunately, we had to kick Fred off the boat. He kept pooping on the deck. Fair winds, Fred. So... It's been super windy and super rough, and we've been very tired of it, so we've asked for it to calm down, but little did we know it would calm down so much to where we would barely have any wind. And now, we're only making five knots. Everybody's sleeping. I'm falling. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Well, Some video games. I will put a wait though. Mother and father are sleeping. How's it going? Playing the game. Passing time. Games. Still going super slow. Yeah, it's kind of nice. The wind died down, so it's not as bad as it has been the last few days. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Just chilling. Sweet. What do you got to say? What are you doing there? Math. Math? What day of passage is it? Four. Day number four. It's calmed down a lot. Yeah, what was it? Bad. How do you feel about being on the last passage of our Pacific journey? Relief. Relief? Because we're going to get to Australia. Australia's yeah. gonna be awesome!
I have seen loads of neat places. It's been an endurance test, uh, physically and emotionally. The world definitely doesn't seem as big anymore. I know when I get to land and we take take a month off or so when we're looking for the new cat, this blue water is going to be calling my name. I love it out here on this ocean. I, I just love it. It's just a great place to be. What a frontier. So we're in our passage to Coffs Harbor, Australia. We've got um, 708 miles left. And we've got roughly four days, five days left. So we should get in this Tuesday. Should get in Sunday night or Monday morning. Probably, probably be Monday morning. Today's what, Tuesday? Tuesday at 4 o'clock, 1,500, 1,600 hours. Well, so we still have good five days. We have a good five days unless we get some stronger winds. We could pick up seven. If we could pick up one knot and have seven, average seven knots across here. Yeah. That's 24 extra miles a day. 24 extra miles a day times four days is, that's 100 miles. That shortens the trip by a day. It's just so dang calm outside. It's like, <laughs> it's like no wind at all, no waves at all, like butter. The seas have rather slowed down out here in the Pacific Ocean on our way to Australia. So we put out the trusty old Genoa. Everything is calm. Attitudes are good. Dad's getting some drone shots because the wind is almost non-existent. My gosh, it's hard to believe that we've sailed halfway around the world and we're on our last leg of this passage. This Beneteau's been really good to us. She's taken care of us all the way across the oceans, taking care of my family and my children. It's just unbelievable to see how we've grown as a family and our relationships out here on the water. They have just matured and grown so much. It's so surreal that we've made it this far and, and, and we're making it to Australia. Join us next time as we finish up our 10-day sail to Australia.